Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. Please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to actually assign um, Office 365 license to a user from Azure Active Directory Admin Center. So let me let me first of all go to my here. I'm, here you can see I'm in Azure Active Directory Admin Center. So let me go to licenses and all my click all my product. Here you can see I have the Office 365 E5 license, which of course I'm using the trial version. So I was assigned 25 license for the trial version. And I have 22 license available. Three users already have a license which they are using right now. So if I go to my, let me just go back again to my users. Yeah. Here you can see we have the different users. So let's say you create a new user and you want to assign a license to that user. So for example, I have um, Stevie. Steven Johnson and Samuel Johnson, which I just created not too long ago, and they don't have um, Office 365 license. So let me just uh, try to assign license to Steven Johnson. So just click on Steven Johnson, and here you can see we will need to go to the license to see which license Steven have. And here you can see that Steven does not have a license. So let's say um, a user called you down and said that, well, I cannot log into Office 365. So I try to log in, but I, um, I, it's been showing that uh, I don't have an I, um, have the requirement. I don't have the, the the license to actually log in, and it's showing me giving me access denied. So what you need to do is this. Um, first of all, you need to go to Assignment, and here you see we have just Office 365 E5. So I need to select it, and here you can see we only have one option, and just select Office 365. So with Office 365 E5, these are what the user can actually do with it. You can see they don't have a lot of options actually. Um, for example, we have like the SharePoint Online, SharePoint or the Skype for Business, Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise. We have um, Mac, um, Power Apps for Office 365. So the user can actually do a lot with um, the E5 license. So if you have other license like E3, E1, you can as well select the required license that the user need. So just click Save. And if you see license assignment to the members succeeded. So let me go back again to my admin set. Let me just click here back, go back again, and go back again to my admin center. So I am right now I'm in my Microsoft 365 admin center. So we assign a license to Steven Johnson. Here you can see it says it is on license. Why? Because I've not refreshed it. So if I click refresh, you can see right now Steven Johnson now has Office 365. Um, E5 license. So we also have the like, for example, like we have like Samuel Johnson. So we can as well assign um, Office 365 license to Samuel Johnson from the admin center as well. So if I click on Samuel Johnson here, and you can see that under the license and apps, Samuel doesn't have a license. So we still have about 21 license free of 25 license. So what I need to do is just do is to select the license and then so due to increased demand, it may take up to 24 hours to be fully set up, set up Samuel Johnson in Teams. So until then, you won't be able to assign Teams application to them, and they might not have access to Teams feature like calling and audio conferencing. So you know, they, like this period, a lot of companies are actually using the cloud base because of the Corona issue or Corona virus. So Teams, um, it takes some time. It, takes, it may take some time for the user to be able to use teams as well but um, in my company uh, we observe that by assigning office 365 it works immediately so just gain this is just a warning but it may actually works directly so just click save changes and, it's, and it has been saved and you can see right away and as Samuel Johnson as, as well has office 365 e5 license so that is how it is to actually assign office 365 Five licenses from Azure Active Directory and from your admin center as well. So we can also use PowerShell to as actually assign Office 365 license to your user, which I'm not going to show in this video because I'm just just to show you how to do it in Azure Active Directory. 
Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can as well send me an email, and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye.